good Sunday to you. Wanted to do a quick update. I know that we're about a week and a half, about 11 days into the um, new game. And yes, I have uh, all cleared all of the quests, right? So uh, definitely no lifing it. We're going to swap back over to the game if I can... I can work my phone right there we go so uh, i wanted to talk specifically about combat power and i wanted to take a look you can see i'm at 54.96 i'm super close to the max level uh, my guy's just in the background i wanted to go back and complete some knowledge um that's a whole separate video and the reason why i'm going back to complete storylines and everything to boost my um my uh, contribution points to get a little bit better right so but today's topic is combat power and there's a lot of um bad videos out about this there's a lot of just misinformation and so i wanted to clear some things up and i wanted to show you how to push right now for my level like being 54 honestly my cp is a little bit lower than most just because i sped through the quest and jumped into the boss runs and i never really went back for content to to kind of boost what i could do right not even my stamina or anything else so um but for the sake of this video you can see that i'm at um 2364 it's tier four three heading up into the bigger tiers and you can take a look at those tiers on your own um but i wanted to notice that little green shield next to it with the glowy stuff if you've not pushed that we're going to explain that right now so um this is going to be your bonus effects this will be one of your biggest ways obviously um going in and getting better gear and going blues to purples to yellows to reds is going to be your quickest way but at some point you're going to max out on some purples and some yellows and you're not going to be able to push it unless you save like 150 million gold for an upgrade or 150 million gold or silver or whatever they call it so it's going to take you a while after you're going to max out at this and you're going to want to pay attention to these three screens here so uh, bonus effect when you hit 2200 they're going to automatically give you um a hundred CP uh, on there if you go over C, uh, or I'm sorry, 1900. You're going to get the 100, uh, the 50 attack, the 50 defense, which is going to move you 100 CP. How it works, it's one for one. Um, then when you hit 2200, you're going to get 300 hit points, but you can see there's much more to go up here. All oh, branch damage is 5% at 3300. Um, so paying attention to where you are, um, you're going to enhance that gear. Let me be very clear. Do not enhance less than 100%. If you're, if you're anywhere, like you're like, oh, 80% or above, that's pretty good. I got a, a, you know, a one in five chance of failing or whatever. False. Like, if you're below 90 or if you're below 100%, you will feel, you will be mad, you will um, toss an iPhone into a river uh, out of anger like, <laughs> or toss it across the room. It is just wait till 100%, just do it. Um, so then the second thing, we're going to pop over to gear resonance. And I think this is where people start getting lost. Like they're just not sure like how to do this and, and go through, right? So like all gear 15 or above, right? So if you're just trying to do one piece of gear and move it up, don't stop and get them all up to level 15. You're going to get a plus three attack. Then when they go to 18, plus seven, plus nine. So there's right there on that screen, that's 12 CP. And then if you add in the all gear at 20, that's 24, that's 26 CP. Like that stuff matters. Like do, every CP that you can get on a piece of gear, it all matters like so be careful to look through the gear resonance accessory resonance is a little bit harder you got to get them all um you know all the three or above and so i've started swapping out and i'm like is it better to to pull um oh 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 oh, oh no 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 let's go back wrong buttons is it better to pull this minus ruby earring i got this for like super cheap out of the store um my other earring was a plus two or three and it was like 28 and i'm like well i'm gonna get another boost of uh, of nine on here like i'm gonna go ahead and swap it over hopefully i can pick up some other ones and we can start getting this accessory gear up i think now that i'm acquiring cash a little easier um i was draining potions so hardcore like um offlining in areas that were just a little bit too big for me um but now i'm starting to get really really far into the content into the storyline uh, i'm starting to boost up a little bit so i would say Say if you look like those are those are pretty much the, the the main ways to get this up get your gear resonance going get your get your um um, your bonus points and effects up here going and that's what really was going to make a difference uh when you look into now your individual how you um um put your crystals into stuff you're gonna have to be super careful right so there's a couple of different ways you can you can put this um damage in and i'm going to show you some skill stuff right so like if i look at this skill right now i've got aal damage all damage right now this is um this is where you'll put crystals in to increase this damage. But if I was to change this over to Labrieve, then I'm going to have to get crystals that have Labrieve on there, right? So I'm going to show you what I mean. If I go back out, get into the Black Spirit, 
Um, and I'm killing imps just because I wanted something in the background going on while I was playing and it was the closest place. So, uh, but if I look at the crystals and I look at what we have, right, let's say I wanted to plug a crystal in here. I've got a hip damage on this one, but you can tell there's Soret up here. There's La Brave. There's, you know, once you get over to the blue, you start adding the damage and that's another great way to get some increased damage out of there. So just that alone is going to add four CP for you. If I was to, to do this, uh, I don't want to change it all because the one I have now is a plus six to CP, but that's another quick way. You could probably, if you really did some crystal works, go into each town, buy the dealer out every two hours or whatever the timer is. It's super cheap. But when you do that every two hours that you're playing or, or, you know, just in the morning or like for me, I just play in the mornings real quick. And in the night I get my camp done, do like my dailies just to grab my stuff. But I can't really play a whole lot during the week. I work 10 hours a day and, and I have two hours of driving for commute. So I just maintain during the week and then I go hard on the weekends. Right. So um, I hope this video has helped you understand like how to boost your combat points. It's the single biggest way that you're going to um, go through and finish content and get ready. So uh, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Thanks. See you.